guys, this is uh, my second day at, the, at Calgary Expo and the last day at the Calgary Expo. I just check in the volunteer room, it's 8 in the morning here because well, one of the nice things about being a volunteer is that uh, sometimes, every other year, you know, the media guests will come in and we'll have a chance to get our autographs and stuff like that so, uh, done before everything starts up. There, most of them are, should be in by 9 and then the rest should follow in around 9.30. I'm hoping to at least get an autograph for my good friend Sean from Peter Dinklage and uh, also get, uh, John Berman to sign, to sign his book as well as drop off a gift to him from a friend. But let's go take a look down now at the floor just see what everything is like before everything and everyone comes rushing in. Oh, we got some more volunteers. <laughs> hey, how you guys doing? Hi. Hi. Hello. Ready for last day, guys? Hello. Uh, they're all excited. Uh, give them some more caffeine and they'll be just fine. Let's go check out the floor. All right, uh, we're inside here. This is what everything looks like just before the pandemonium starts. Right here we have the artists, Ellie's, webcomic artists, various other artists. And then over here, well, some more webcomic artists and other various artists. But mainly booths where people can go and buy stuff. And there's, well, like I was talking about yesterday, a lot of stuff to buy. That there is the Expo Store. Looks really good. You know, you go and you buy, you can go and buy you know, sh uh, shirts and bags and other fun stuff. And here we have the little anime center here. Basically, lots of manga, lots of uh, wall posters, body pillows, eh. various drinks. Ooh, they even got the zombie drinks. I should probably get one or two of those for before I hit the road today. Lots of energy. Morning, sir. Lots, like I said, lots more places to spend your money. Like here's a couple booths here just for action figures and toys and all that kind of good stuff. And sometimes if you're in here like around nine, when the people that start selling this stuff come in, you know, when you're a volunteer, you can pick up some of the stuff, do some shopping again before your shift starts and before the other people are here and where everything is really, really crazy. What's up? Morning, sir. Morning. There's even a... There. Let's go back over here. Take a gander. Because what we got here is actually... What we have here is actually a retro video game stall. And this thing is insane. It's really wonderful how much stuff they got here. Just, let's take a gander here. Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys doing? It's the last day of the convention. Yeah. Yeah, just bummer incident. Oh, uh, well, it is for some. Uh, for others, I imagine they're kind of thanking the lucky stars because, well, this is expensive, I tell you. So, or just coming, just coming to a convention, you could lose all your money if you're not careful. That's true. Spend yeah. more than you make, right? Mm -hmm. So, like I said, this is a retro video game corner. They've been coming here for almost as long as I've been coming here since uh, 2009, <laughs> right? Yeah. Hmm. Well, we've been in Calgary it feels like, for 22 years. Yeah. So. Oh, 22 years. 22 years in Calgary, two that's, stores. Yeah. I don't know, man, that's amazing. You got a lot of stuff here. I mean, you got, see here, you got your GameCube, N6, oh, I'm sorry, no, it's, let me focus in on one title in particular. I got it here. This is for the N64. I don't think anyone's going to buy Superman for the N64. We're hoping we'll find at least one person. One, you're hoping what, to find we one. We just need one person. That's all hope, we need. Let me correct that. You're hoping to find one sucker. Yes. Because <laughs> no, I don't think anyone got past like the first level of that game. It was no. so poorly designed. Maybe think, just to, you know, maybe well, they'll buy it to burn it. Yeah. Don't know. I mean, look at that, people. We have Turbo Graphics 16. We got you, a Neo Geo original. My, Neo Geo original. And uh, a Jaguar with the CD loader that works. Holy smokes, it works? Oh yeah, that's, that's the three times because we didn't believe it ourselves. That's amazing, <laughs> usually that was the first thing that failed. Oh yeah. Yeah, so 
obviously this is a little bundle of gaming history right here. We should just open our own museum. Mm. FC Twin, oh my god, E.T. Atari. Look at that, people. How, mu how much? Let me zoom in. What's that say? $29. We got Shaq Fu 2. Shaq, wait, they made Shaq Fu 2 or Shaq Fu? Oh, we have it also. <laughs> oh, okay, there you go. Yeah. We have Shaq Fu also. Mm. So you can see just a wonderful little bundle of gaming history right here. I mean, I know some of my friends would probably just drool over the PlayStation titles alone. You got. Well, it's, uh, they got the. Let's just focus in on some of the titles here. Let's see here. There is. Look at that. That there is the Final Fantasy Anthology. Final Fantasy IX. Let's see here. A Mega Man 8. Breath of Fire 3. I saw it up here. What was it? Vagrant Story. Parasite Eve. Try not to think about Parasite Eve 2. The Evil Dead <laughs> video game. First one on the PlayStation. Very good. Well, very. Um, okay, I guess. <laughs> All right. All right, check back on some other stores here. You want to come on for a minute? No. Yeah. No? You sure? <laughs> yeah. All right. Some of our volunteers here are shy. They're shy. Okay, but he says he doesn't want to be on. That's fine. And here we have yet another one. It's called Fantasy Warriors. Apparently sponsored by some other people. And they sell replica stuff. Just look at this. We got shields. The old coppersmith. Photo ID required. We got all kinds of really good stuff. Well, of course, talking about geeks here, we're not, they, they gotta have samurai swords and ninja swords and other swords from Japan. And elsewhere. Of course, I think those are greaves. What are they? Bracers. Yep, those are bracers. Bat lifts, because, you know, Cleons and 14th century, I guess. Some really nice swords. Really nice swords. Geez, I think I might actually get one of these later on. Oh. And of course, we got Lego Center here again. They've been coming here, I think. I think since 2009, I believe. Replica of the Battle of Endor, I believe. Excuse me, sir, would you mind if I ask a couple questions? Or uh, sure. Yeah. So how long has the well, Southern Alberta Lego user group been coming to the Calgary Expo? Uh, since 2009. Ah, right on. And you've done a lot of different things. Like last year, we had, we had a really good expansive superhero booth and like right here now we got the uh, Star Wars uh, who who decides like what's going to be uh, what's going to be the theme for each uh, year uh, generally it's the show coordinator mm -hmm. this year uh, we picked Star Wars it was initially going to be Lord of the Rings but uh, uh, our guy who builds mountains was tied up doing something else so. <laughs> Yeah, there was a Lego group at the, the Vancouver Fan Expo. They had they had this huge Hulk one, huge Yoda one, huge uh, Old Republic a Destroyer class one. Just amazing. So here, I'm just going to swing around you, and you got you know, the Falcon, uh, the Emperor shuttle. You also got Firefly, and you got a da Dalek. Yes. Or a Dalek head. Yes. Next year it'll be a full size Dalek. Well, next year we'll have a full size Dalek. Yes. Dalek. That's amazing. I can, I'm, I'm definitely going to be coming back just for to see that. All right, on. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. And here we go. This is the main area where everyone comes to get autographs and buy some food, buy some more food. And I'm going to go get my autographs. Hopefully, they'll be signing up or lining up pretty soon. It's about 10 to 9. I'm getting lined up now because there are quite a few volunteers. We all want to try to get this done before. Everyone gets in here. Oh, we even got some pro wrestlers. Juggernaut, Vance Nevada, Ina Romero, Romeo. Oh, Ina Romeo, that sounds familiar. I have to look up that name later. Lots and lots of different people here. Good morning! So everyone's enthusiastic. It's the last day, last burst of energy before we have to go back to doing, you know, all that regular stuff that we normally do. Work and whatnot.
Now it's a little bit different than last year. See, last year we had this area combined with the uh, combined with the photo ops area. This year it's all autographs, all autographs here. As you can see, some of us fellow volunteers, we're all we're all lining up. We're just going to get some. Gonna get some picture or, or autographs and some pictures to get autograph. And good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, good morning. I gotta ask. Now I've been seeing this a lot more often this year, especially from uh, these two gentlemen here. The choice in uh, leg wear, non-leg. How, how would you class? It's a kilt. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Well, yeah. Oh yeah. I imagine like uh, uh, nice and breezy and everything. Really good. So just. Is this a utility kilt or regular kilt? Traditional, traditional. Tr traditional kilt. Any particular reason? So you said freedom. Uh, Any particular reason? Any other reason why? It's a lot more comfortable. Ah, okay. Well, you heard it there first. The choice wear for conventions in areas such as this. Kilt, why? Comfort. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thanks. As the guy on head checks uh, the audio mic and everything, I am here at Wita, which is the special effects company that worked on Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit, and they've got quite the setup here. You can see there. Wait, who's this character? I forgot again. Gollum. Gollum, yeah, thank you. See, I'm terrible at names, really terrible. Just amazing, lots of merchandise. Really nice plush rug, I gotta say. Lots of different figures. Hobbit scarf for $65. No, I don't think I'm going to buy the Hobbit scarf for $65. Ooh. And if you want a Orcus sword, one of these, it's only $9,900 straight from the source. <laughs> Gandalf the Grey. Like, just lots of different stuff. It's really interesting. Oh, what's this? It's like from a steampunk kind of thing, futuristic ray. Dr. Grode Grode Bort. Oh, and this also did the work on District 9. Cool stuff. Lousy movie, in my opinion. All right, managed to get a little bit of walking in, looking around the booths, and got some shopping done. Got an excellent, excellent uh, shield and plaque from Cutting Edge. Uh, really good guys, really great. And now I'm on my way to do my part in my morning shift as a usher. Booth and as you can see, we got lots of people already going to line up for today. We got lots of good food here. I have to try them out. I wasn't able to get the John Borman. He didn't come in this morning early. Peter Dinklage did. Very cool guy. Apparently, he had to slap Joffrey a lot. He felt so bad about it because you know you got different camera angles. It doesn't look right enough. So after a shoot, he buy him a beer. So good guy. Really good guy. So check it back in with you later on on my way here we gotta go down this way basically my role this morning will be as an usher which means as soon as you're done with your picture I kind of take you and well, gently usher you off to the side so please come this way just give you an idea this is where we're... sorry got a bit cut off but here's where we're going to be set up people come to stand here at this line uh, celebrity will either be here sitting down or standing up then I'll be off right here 
and gently usher them outside. Pretty nice and simple. Hopefully today will go nice and smooth. Okay, back here, this is where some of the hard people, hard working uh, men and women of the volunteer group for photo ops sit and they scan the pictures, scan the, ta or scan the pictures and they scan the tags and they make sure that uh, those of us that did pay or a few volunteers are lucky to get pictures for free some years. We come back here and yeah, we come back here and we get it printed out and we also get it digitally. So how, how did everything go yesterday? Right on? Yeah, you're Sorry for that five minute crash, but things were pretty smooth after that. Yeah. Yep, everything's smooth. Mm -hmm. Did you guys get to meet any of the celebrities coming through here? No, we saw a couple sneak by, but didn't get a chance to. Ah, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Who'd you see sneak by? Uh, Big Lynch, uh, oh, Mr. Collins, and Lena. Who? Lena from Game of Thrones. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually just got an uh, autograph from Peter Dinklage for a friend of mine. Yes. Coffee Cup, House of Lannister. Oh, sweet. Yeah. He was, talk and he was talking about uh, slapping Joffrey. He said he felt bad for that kid because they... Were there many takes? Many, many takes. <laughs> so he bought him a beer afterwards. I remember yeah. that. So yeah. all in all, everything's going great here mm -hmm. yesterday. Any interesting stories to relate? Um, I met Michael Shanks. I met <laughs> Anderson. Oh, yeah. She almost like, cried. She was so happy. <laughs> she almost cried? <laughs> almost, yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see who else do we meet. Lexa Doig. Uh, yeah. No, there was one other. Oh, Carrie Eels. Mm. Met him. It was so funny. Did the whole old men in tights thing in front of him. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> so he was pretty. He was laughing at that. Um, yeah. And then we did our photo ops with him. Oh, so, right on. Yeah. That's the nice thing about being in uh, Usher and stuff like that. Sometimes you get a free of photo ops. Well, that's why we did it last year, and that's what they said last year, but apparently this year. Yeah. Oh, wow. All right, Helen. Any interesting stories from you aside from her crying? <laughs> that's pretty much what I heard. Oh, okay. She didn't know who any of them were. That's the problem. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, that's the problem with these younger fans. You have to tell them who they are. Like, who's Richard Dean Anderson? Yeah, exactly. Mine is Will Wheaton. Ah, yeah, Will Wheaton. Yeah. And the only reason she knows who Will Wheaton is yeah. is because he was on Big Bang Night. Uh, that's the only reason why she knows. Oh. Wheaton! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the the Wesley Crusher shirt and everything. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 She didn't know that. She didn't even know who that was. Mm -hmm. I was like, I was like, I was like, those are so cool little shirts, and she was like, what does that mean? And then I saw it. Yeah. Uh, She's like, I'm gonna crush. <laughs> what is that? I'm gonna work. I'm gonna crush you or something. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> so, all, so all in all, everything went well. Hopefully, everything will go well today. Okay, there we go. Hey, we just finished up one hell of a, excuse me, hectic schedule. Steven Yens went really well. There was some delay, and because of that, the Walking Dead team, which was Melissa McBride, Steven Yen, and Norman Remus, got delayed. And because of that, the solo Norman Remus uh, got bit, got delayed. And so we were just motoring everyone through you like you wouldn't believe. I'm here with my fellow volunteers. Here we go. Who are you? I'm Selena. Selena. I am the greeter. Yeah, greeter and? I'm Mark. I'm the usher. Yep. He's so he, just like me, he was ushering people in, I was ushering people out, and we are all exhausted. Just we are superstars. No, no, we're superstars. Yeah. We're superstars. Yep. So we all got through it. Everything went fine, and there's an Everything hour break fine. here. I'm done my shift, though, which means I got to get my uh, uh, signature autograph from John Barrowman. Maybe. Uh, yep. Yeah, I know, trust me, I have my picture taken with him. The guy's a big hugger, like, very big hugger. Very... I did not get a hug from him yet. Oh, you gotta get a hug from him. You gotta get mm -hmm. Oh, yes, group. You gotta get grope by him. Oh, yes. No, trust me, he's like, yeah, he's like, hug, grope, I mean, it's it's all the same. So, yeah, so, this, I'm being adieu to my fellow volunteers here. I got, yep, yeah, bye-bye, bye-bye. Wave adieu, goodbye. Adieu. Yeah. And then I gotta make the long trek back to Burnaby. Oh. Uh, do one little bit more about getting in line for John Barrowman. Later. In the lineup here for John Barrowman, in the lineup for John Barrowman, and even here on the last day, there's a lot of people here. Lots and lots of people. And more than quite a few cosplayers here. Even a few Tardises we got around here. Like this lady here. Hello. Say oh. hey, hi. How long have you been waiting this lap for uh, John Barrowman? I have no idea. 
<laughs> um, maybe like 20 minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, you came in pretty early this time. Yeah. yeah. You're supposed to be here at 4. You showed up a bit earlier. It's really cool. Yeah. And you got a picture. Does that picture you got to take with them? Yeah, because he's got a cute little, cute little doctor plushie. Right on. So, chugging, chugging along. Hopefully get this picture or get autograph done soon. And then I got to hit the road. Ten and a half hours to Burnaby. Later. Oh, just got done with the lineup. Oh, bright glare, bright glare. Man, this bright. Just got done the lineup with John Borman. Gave him my friend Denny Upkin's book, Hollow Stone. Which, well, uh, considering how busy he is, he'll read, most likely. But he has it. Denny has a copy of your book, Hollow Stone. Uh, it's about the best gift I figure I could get for you. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. We're coming through. So now, I gotta finish packing everything up. Go back to my hotel, pick up my car, and then drive ten and a half hours back to Burnaby. I've got a long trip ahead of me. This is going to be real fun. Through the mountains. Uh, uh, that's it for me here at Calgary Expo 2013. It was great. It was hectic. It was chaotic. All that fun stuff. See you later.